Hey, hey there, Joy to the World, friends and family. I am Joy, here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. If you are new to this channel, click that subscribe button down below, baby. It is free as always. I want to welcome you to your manpower moment. There's so much in tarot and oracle that's geared towards the ladies. The lingo is often that expressed as such and always carrying in the tone. And I thought we provide something for you guys where you don't have to do any translating and converting it over to your side. Now, we're going to keep this pretty short and sweet because my favorite team is on halftime right now. So we're just going to take a little halftime moment to see what's coming in for you guys. Whether this is weekly or monthly, I don't know. It's an energy session for y'all. So it looks pretty interesting. I haven't really taken a peek, but I can see some of the colors going on. So let's crack this open. First thing they want to do is they brought in a room. And it says cooperation is essential for life. And so this is really honing in and moving towards getting a connection, a deeper connection, a better connection, a solid connection, a true connection. Whatever it is and where you're coming from, that is the genesis of this point. But underneath this is coming in, you can see at the top, number 13. Now, if you tuned in, it might have been one of our Virgo reads. Virgo turned 13 back into our lucky number. Now, long ago, 13 was the lucky number, but due to a series of events, it became the unlucky number. And I'm like, take advantage of that. Everybody else is superstitious and afraid, just gone, and 13 is always available and empty. Step right in and call it your lucky number. It's creative manifestation of yourself, building a foundation and coming forward. But as we can see, this has overtaken you. So it's, it's called tarantula and it's talking to me about our nervous system, about, you know, being apprehensive, what to do about in this modern world, because there's so much convolution going on around the men and what is right, what is wrong, what you should, what you shouldn't, you know, what everybody else's idea is so that there's been some meddling and muddying into your energy field. Now, when we look at our meninges, that's the little radiator. Okay, the coolant that goes around our brain. It's three layers. There's the soft mother, there's the hard mother, and in between is the rachnid layer. It is the form of communication between the soft mother and the hard mother, the two bodies. And so this card is really wanting to talk about you being a gentleman. Does a gentleman mean polite and your pinky in the air and always saying the right thing and never cussing or telling funny jokes or any belching, any of that funny stuff? No. It is about and being empowered being wise, being knowledgeable, and knowing yourself, man or woman at this channel, when you know yourself, you are in your full expression. And this is all about you coming into being satisfied and fulfilled in your golden self. So this this whole read here seems to really be coming into the energy of relationship of the dynamic and of course of connection and the cooperation here. This cooperation is being able to navigate between those two energies and let them synergize through this arachnid layer so you don't keep getting in relationships where people try and attach to you and you don't even know what's begun to happen before it is too far gone. Okay, that's relatives, co-workers, um, needy people, greedy people, People at the laundromat, I don't even care. It's all that energy going on, relationship or otherwise, okay? So the first thing you're wanting to do is we're going to start on the back end. We're going to start, you could say it's maybe in the past, but somewhere to rupture, all right? First thing we have coming in is number 39. Look at this trumpet. Taking a deep gaze, a deep look inside, but this is also, you're coming from deep within, like a flashlight, finding your way out, back into the cosmos, back into this world. What world? We're going to find out. But it says purple, develop mental clarity. This is a thing about creative endings, creative solutions, creative solving. Maybe you don't know that you're a solution, you're not a problem. I don't know how much inference or trouble has been put your way making you feel like there's something wrong with you. I don't like that. And I certainly don't agree with it for anyone. But that's an issue around the heart. And men come from the heart. That's why y'all are passionate. That's why you're charismatic. That's why you're incredibly visual. It has to do with our visual acuity, gross motor skills, things like that, athletics, whatever else. If you're not hot and all those things, that's okay. But that's where the man's dynamic is coming from in your genetic makeup, okay? So up above that, we have a room coming in. It signals. Looks like a hook, doesn't it? Yeah, a hook, a gaff, a snag. And that is not a fun feeling, I can tell you. So when we look at the dark side of it, it's kind of talking about a lack of clarity, futility, a waste of time, clearing out the old. So that's what we're looking to do here. We're gonna just dig down and clear that, you know, when you gotta rip the hook. Maybe I can find a little pair of dikes or uh, 
a pliers and we can nip that head off and then just ease it on out without an extra tear. That's what I'd love to do for you here. But we're, now we're gonna turn it and we're gonna look at the signals, the signs, the things that precede using foresight as opposed to hindsight. Foresight, hindsight. Now let's take a little listen to what foresight sounds like here. Signals, all right? Loki. Loki is the gift of play. When you have more of a playful spirit, instead of having to be so anal, watchful, and serious about it, and wondering, is a lawsuit coming my way? Am I going to be uh, pointed out in public? I don't know what to do. Am I going to make the wrong decision? Well, I don't want to make the wrong decision. I want to be upright. I want to be a gentleman. I want to whatever. I want to know the right things to do, but I don't even know anymore what that looks like. Okay. So it has to do with restoring that element of playfulness, of uh, reducing the fear, removing the productive fear. This fear is one that produces negative results. There's a fear unto life and a fear unto death. The fear unto life is kind of like, well, sometimes on a rough day when I go bowling, I need the little guardrails to come on up because I just want to play. That's all right. That's all right. Those guards are there. They're not high walls. They're not insurmountable. They're just there to give me a little guidance along the day. So I just don't have to get totally into my mental frame and get bogged down there and it allows me to walk more easily hand in hand with myself. That's all right. That's okay. So along with this, it's talking about gifts, divine answers, nourish, wisdom, and a strong connection. So when you make it more easy on yourself, um, it allows this to strengthen and to deepen. Because remember, we are coming from that deep place. So even thing, even though things might have been difficult, challenging, or just flat out wrong, or you've been wronged, take it as a, t a chance for it to become the silver lining on the cloud for you to recognize what a solution you are and not a problem. We are made of salt water, and salt water in science is known as a solution. You are here purposefully to navigate this and to come out in a beautiful expression, right? We talk about the whole on box here, Wizard Oz, Willy Wonka, all that good fun stuff going on, whatever floats your boat, right? But it's about being able to express your love. And that's what we're wanting to do is to free your heart and see what follows because the heart is attached to the hands. It activates your potential and your actual, and it will ripple through into your imprint in this life and in this world. So let's work on that strong connection. Now, first thing we're going to do is get a Mary L on that. Yes, y'all ask for Mary L. Look at you at the bottom of the star. This is you reconnecting to your treasury. I don't care that it's a woman on there. That's irrelevant. We're looking at the qualities that's going on here in the dark of night, but you're now coming down to earth into this field of harvest that is ripe and ready. And what field is this? This is your field of dreams, guys. What is your field of dreams? What is it that if you build it, remember your hands, very practical, very applicable, very gross motor, get in with your whole body and come in completely person. That's very much a gentleman, by the way. What would that be? What would that look like? Because these are your desires. Sometimes our dreams, we get caught and think it's like this thing that's all off in the head. No kids, man, they know how to do it because they're straight up coming from the high heart, coming from here. And they're like, I know what I want. I know what I desire. They don't know if it exists, whatever, because if they can see it, they can have it. And that's some of what is to come about in your heart is this awakening of if it's a true desire, it's for you. It's part of the solution. It's part of your soul shine. It's part of who you are. Because I, what I love about that curiosity is when you go to satisfy, it, it also stokes even more. You know, about that interest, when you go to satisfy, it stirs even more. It is the cycle of life and it's part of your wheel of fortune and keeps you turning. It keeps life moving in balance between work and play. So we're gonna go in, ah, oh, yes, and it opens up your hands to the possibilities. See? These are the channels through which your heart will come. Mm-hmm. It's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Why is that? Because green is the heart, and that's, that's the sacral chakra. It's the goldness, it's the orange. And there's an impact that I'll have on a, a large, vast community. The harvest that I see out there is reaching people. Okay, there's one. Um, let's see if there's anything else of Mary L about the star, the signals, and the strong connection. For our guys here, I see you. Let's start with that, and we'll see if more need to talk. Okay, number one, number two, number one, number two. Mm. Seven of Disc, I absolutely love this. This is a pivot point in the knowledge that you have choices. 
that you are divine, that you're well equipped. This is to me like the magician and the fool going together. Also, it's very Taurian going in here, very much um, determination of knowing that, know thyself and not being moved off of it, right? Because guys, they can kind of elbow and jab and, and pick and tease at each other and it may sting the heart, but it only increases the de determination, the focus to move forward, correct? Okay, so that begins to put the fire under your feet and your feet are where the beauty is. And this is where you're rising from the ashes because it's showing very much like a phoenix. Remember, you had gone through that difficult thing that you needed the silver lining to come out. You got dashed way down deep and you've been shining your way out for some time now, trying to gain the understanding and the clarity of here, here of what the signals are and what they look like, right? So that you don't get snagged and hooked and snared into the same old scenario again and again. You deserve satisfaction and fulfillment and wholeness within your soul because that's very much what these holes, H-O-L-E, are in the hand is for W-H-O-L-E, the incoming star. So it's showing up a lot of Jupiter here, guys. Um... What you may do if you haven't, Google your free birth chart. And when you look at it, I like astro hyphen charts. That's a really clear, clean, simple, and it's fantastic. It's uncluttered. It's straight to the point. Right up my alley. <laughs> Those little guard rails, remember, hey, I can roll a strike without them. It's okay. Sometimes I just want to play. But when you begin to know yourself and know your other placements, that's when these rivers start to flow because there's a hunger that's going to awaken in you. Remember that we talked about when you poke it, it's, only, it's like the Pillsbury Doughboy, <laughs> and it's only going to stir up a little bit more excitement about whatever it is you're pursuing. So these signals, this gift, this hunger, this knowledge, because you're realizing it's not this squeaky e -e -e clean, you know, gentleman of, of Prim and polished, no, it's raw, it's rugged, it's rough, it's fantastic. It comes from knowing thyself. So here, when you go and you look at that chart, it looks like an eyeball, okay? We have the outside edge, which tells us all the names of the signs. So you'll you'll hear like Aries or Pisces or Scorpio or Taurus, all right? And then in the little center, like where the pupil would be, you're gonna see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Those are called the houses. And then we have this magnificent pie. Well, I call it the eye of God. When we know ourselves, when we know the whole thing, y'all, I didn't say astrology and all this. No, this is just what my soul speaks to me and tells me about. Well, Jupiter represents the man and it also represents man and relationship. And remember, we're talking about cooperation. It has to do with hand in hand, relationship, a two-way street. No longer these missed, uh, ministries or disenfranchisement things going on where there's power struggles and drama. Hello? Okay. Got your ear? All right. So you go and you look and you see, you can see, you can see which house, but look which sign your Jupiter is in. And that would be a good key point simply because it is the one that is jumping out the most aside from your Venus and your Chiron. Okay. So you can look up Venus and Chiron. Now, when you look at that eye on astro hyphen charts, down beneath, it'll have the words. It'll say Venus, and it'll say Sagittarius, or my mine's in Aquarius, and my Chiron's in Aries. So it'll just have a simple breakdown of what they are, and you'll see the name of the zodiac sign up beside it. And then you'll be able to correlate it back to that circle, that eye, that picture, right? And so if we know thyself, then you can go check out some readings on those signs. Whoever's channel, here or otherwise, here are their energy sessions to help you shift and move into the point of the confidence and the self-assurance of knowing yourself, whether you're a man or a woman. I talk to y'all in all the reads, but I thought you guys need a little extra boon coming in here because I really believe in you. And and uh, my life is full of men. I grew up with a lots of boys on the playground, very few girls out there a brother, a close sidekick to my dad, and I have two sons. So it's very close to my heart, and this is a passion for me, and probably why Spirit asked me to do this for you guys. But then you're going to begin to move mountains. You're going to move those mindsets that have boggled you and held you um, held you back, they're saying astray, held you astray for some time. And as you do, you become the living example, the one that shines. The one that shines, because as we know, talk is cheap. Uh, I love the Native American proverb that says, if you have to say it, you don't really believe it, right? And if you really believe it, you won't have to say it. That's how it comes about. So it comes into being a shining example of living your truth. And if people want to know, they can approach you and ask. That's I love that's how men roll. It's so efficient and it's perfect in my eyes. So anyways, begin to know those things about your chart. Check out Jupiter.
All right, that looks like the number four. It'll also have the symbol out beside it to make it very easy for you. So Jupiter, which is you in a relationship, Venus, which is the female in relationship, and Chiron, which is our wound. All right, and it's what we look to heal. Not because we have understanding, but because black and white, we can figure it out. Know the logic and know the path. No, remember, love, you're coming from the heart. You're coming from this deep, intimate place of knowing thyself. That flashlight, that inner knowing that transcends language. It's that instinct, that unk, that urge, that thing that just flows through you with passion and power and strength. Some of you is testosterone <laughs> that's flowing on through there, but it really fires you up and empowers you. It empowers you to live a bold life that's not emotions. Now, for me, a lot of people use the words emotion and feeling synonymously, but to me, a feeling are the things that drive us and give us clarity and they give us understanding. We can use hindsight and foresight to move forward, right? Emotions are those things that when we don't act on them or maybe they're kind of distorted, they're like cocktails. You know, when somebody starts drinking, they get a they change a little bit. To me, that's what emotions are and they can get distorted, but this does away with this. This brings in the cosmic clarity. This brings in that understanding and the strengthening of your feelings, the strength strengthening of your self-trust. Okay. Does that sound good to you? I'm loving this guys. I'm loving it. And that teaches you to follow the sun, not to chase it, to follow it. It is your lead and your guide to move about in this world. So let's see what they're wanting us to do from here. Okay. So this is wanting to partner over here. So we're going to the next layer. I was talking about that confidence and that self-assurance. This is the blue coming in. It is a perfect 10 when we are self-assured and it's pointing again to Jupiter. Jupiter is the role of the man, okay? Jupiter is expansion. Jupiter is growth. Jupiter is instinct. Jupiter is like that curiosity, that thing that lures you and draws you out and gets you going, and that it awakens and it connects to the passion of the heart. It's a thing that just that keeps you awake at night, whether it has words or not. It keeps your mind humming and gets that, that motor running, okay? That's some of what we have going on here, and it begins to open and develop your hands. There's a synergy that as you stretch out and reach out for this is what you're showing me here is that heaven reaches back. Now, heaven can sound all proverbial and esoteric or whatever, but heaven is our dreams. It is those things that we, we, we feel and we see coming to fruition, coming to pass. Because I don't know if y'all are meat eater, I am. And so like, I don't just want to look at my steak. I want to cook it and I want to eat it. Your baked potato, your, your tofu slices, whatever it is you eat on the other side of the camera. It is wanting to be able to, to put it in your mouth to be physically satisfied here on earth. That is the heaven that we're bringing about. It's real. It's practical. It's pragmatic. It can and will happen with you, with your stars, with your dreams awakening. And he's taking us into the next room. This is sitting over it and it's called opening. Now this one, it didn't have the other side going because we've already begun to turn that tide. Remember we moved that hook and that snare. Now we're just looking for the signals. So we don't have to go through that entrapment, that expensive waste of time and energy and drama and just, it's consumptive. We have no place for it here. Okay. So this blue is what it's called, activate your healing power, and that's know thyself. Because the thing is, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Smart, right? Work smarter, not harder. Kiss, keep it super simple, right? So that's what we have going on here, and it's opening. Receptive, intent, renewed, clarity, centered, light, merge, and radiate. Isn't that funny how it matches up? Light, merge, and radiate. So this merge is coming together just like you do on the interstate. When you merge, you ease on in, you find your lane, right? So you and life are finding your lane together. We can call it heaven, cosmos. Often here, I just flat out call it life. It's that power and that driving force and that energy that makes me put my feet on the float in the morning, makes me want to go watch that sunrise and catch it out there early, makes me want to stop and take a moment to savor my food when I eat, to listen to a friend when they speak, to tune into my football game. Thank you. So under this, you're going ahead and taking a dog like a kickback to find out and get some traction into the subject of activating your healing power. And you know what I'm saying. When ounce of prevention, pound of cure, foresight, right? So as you operate in this, it's going to just go ahead and self-correct. It's going to go ahead and move forward, right? We're clearing up the backlash on the line. So we have another perfect 10. Fantastic. Another perfect 10 coming in with it. And this is you being able to see yourself clearly. It's called Fergun. Become a loving mirror. So first of all, to yourself. 
see yourself clearly be honest with yourself about forget this nasty up in the front i'm talking about the woods this golden glow coming on through those trees this inviting environment and space going on around just ignore all that mess and all that noise that space that was created for you the invitation to come on in to yourself this is that cosmic dance because it has when you step into teal cyan cyan is kind of like a fancy name for like a hyped up turquoise okay when you start stepping into those kind of colors where the grew in the grew in the mama hama chana rewind where the green and the blue kiss like this Mm -hmm. The stars align and all of heaven explodes with excitement. So here, it's also important to be careful who you surround yourself with. Um, you can also get to know yourself directly, right? Because often when we look in the mirror, we're looking at a reflection. Just like the moon is a reflection of the sun. Which one shines brighter? Okay, even on a cloudy day, which one shines brighter? right? And this goal of this union here with you in life itself is to, for you to step into your sun and to shine bright and to know yourself and see yourself clearly. So to become a loving mirror is giving yourself permission to do that. Giving yourself permission to know yourself and stay true. Not here to tolerate, not here to compromise, not here to, uh, you know, shiz dizzle around that kind of stuff. You know, the fuggery, all that. You don't have to tolerate anymore. You can just step up. You know, a major thing in life is to know when to stand up to it and when to walk away, correct? Okay, if you're old enough like me, you know Kenny Rogers sang about that for a minute. So, so anyways, you begin to, um, you're inviting in this help, this spiritual reflection, the spiritual energy. Some of you are inviting in the clarity of meditation, but it's coming in from the sacral region. And you're thinking, what? Okay, do I know? I'm not talking about that right now, baby. I'm talking about when you start talking about the, the nose and our senses synergizing right here, that's the somatic system. That is this knowing beyond knowing. It's, it's just a sense. It's palpable. You could almost put your finger on it. Or like we say on the tip of my tongue, that type of thing. It is something that is creative and divine rising up inside of you, but in the fullness. No shadow of turning, no shadow of doubt. And they're saying practice it. And what I love right here, you see those ripples that you're creating? You know what that is? I got me one. It's an easy button. You know that easy button? Was it Staples or whoever that had it? It's that red button and you just press it and it says easy. That was easy. I have one of those. And I want you to know this is easy not complicated. You don't need to have these fancy fluffy words or to be the ultra smooth gentleman. No, rough, raw, whatever. Journal to yourself. Put down bullet points, dot to dot, ditto, hashtag, whatever, uh, you know, website referrals. Create it notes on your phone, whatever it is. It's kind of like a little paper trail, mental trail of being able to see yourself and see what you're being shown. And just take a few minutes five, 10, 15 minutes a day, maybe 15 minutes a week on a certain day when you just sit down and you kind of look at that and you don't tell yourself, don't try and figure it out. Just ask yourself, so what do I see here? What do I see here? Remember, what do I see? And this is you getting alignment and cooperation conjunction with yourself, getting on the same page with yourself. You aren't here to have all the answers, baby. You are a solution, right? Even more so, like it's so important to learn how to think not what to think, correct? That's what we're doing here. That's what we're really focusing on. That's why it's easy. And there aren't tests going on for you trying to see, do you get it right? Do you pass it? Are you good enough? No, heels to the no. Uh-uh, not on my channel. Mm -mm, that can step off right here. It is about, do you show up? Do you show up for yourself and give yourself the time and space, even if 15 minutes, that can be huge quality time per week. I mean, look at your harvest, my friend. That is delicious. If you look closely, each one of those seeds is a person. We touch people every day just by where we go, what we say, what we do, whatever, okay? And that's what they're wanting you to know is that that little bit of time by yourself to reconnect to yourself, to know yourself, um, to know who you are and how you operate really keeps you clear as to what you're going to open to, what you are going to connect with. And when your body's giving you signs and sig signals to get the hell out dodge because they somebody going to try and put you down the hole because they're jealous of you, you're like, I am not pitiful. I am powerful. And that is right. 
okay? Your joy is important to me. Love is what we all get to experience, but joy is the individuation of it. It is personal and tailored, made for you. It is those desires coming from inside and then knowing yourself clearly that your world begins to green up. Why? Because the waters, those feelings, those knowings are there and the reward is there as well, okay? So now we're kicking back under the purple, the mental clarity, now that we have that easy button, right? Hey, I love that. I might need to borrow it sometime. I'm just kidding. I have my own. So we got 24 coming in, waning crescent and protection. Now we're moving towards that right now, irregardless of when you tune into this. These are timeless reads and the energy session is still lit 100% solid of value. All right, so this is about partnering in the foundation, having an awareness and a role to play. And it isn't just the doing, it is that comprehensive communication, clear communication that is developed the mental clarity. Now, not to go back, I'm sorry if you don't like football and I'm not trying to belabor it, but you know, everybody has their role. They know what their role is. They know who they're up against. They know how they operate. Those are three, three entities, three areas of knowingness going on here. That's divine creativity, all right? So that's what it's talking about, know your role in this of developing your own foundation, of building your home, building your nest, your, your nest egg, your safety for yourself. Because see, even the little sparrow, the little finch can do it. Even just the, the tiniest, most humble beginnings. Do not despise small beginnings. Don't jump on yourself. Jump on your train. Jump on the joy train. Woo, woo. And go on in there and be like, dude, man. Did better than you did last week, or at least you didn't quit. I mean, you know, that's the neat thing about growing up around guys is I talk to myself that way a lot. I do think in compartments as well, so I can very much relate and understand to some of you out there what is going on. So don't do that to yourself. Just be like, all right. <laughs> say You might even say this is just a non-judgment week and be shaking your head and be like, come on, pick, pick yourself back up. Let's go at it again. Whatever it is, take it easy on yourself, all right? And then that allows you to have the strength and the power to begin this journey of the one. What that one, I don't know what you're saying. I'm about to look because this card is still face down right here. Remember when Mountain Man, y'all stop it. Ma mm. When he, <laughs> when you came on through with all your power, your might, your glory, your fired up kidneys, your adrenaline going, your resurrection power and your fine feet, your beautiful self. Because yes, you are beautiful. And I'm going to tell you right now, you are beautiful. Beauty means when your insides and your outsides match. That is beauty and that is perfection. That is actually integrity. But integrity is something I hear people say all the time. And that's in the beingness of consciously choosing, consciously choosing. Con no, this is about knowing yourself. That's why it's beauty. Because when you know yourself, it just exudes. It just is. That's why I talk about the I am-ness up in here. Because it goes beyond being. Being takes that logic, that working of the mind where you could pitch yourself against yourself. You can get in this nasty shizd is here. You can get toss off in a pit. Toss yourself in a pit. I don't even know. Because it's working against yourself as opposed to with yourself. Okay? Is it ringing a bell? All right. So mountain man over there getting on the same page with yourself, your I amness moving in that power. We have the eight of wands coming in. This is coming along with like that dynamic little finch. A finch is about the size of a sparrow. That's why I say a finch or a sparrow for you to gain the understanding has the power and ability to transport you through this realm. A little is enough. A little dabble, do you? You know, nobody's unscrewed. Well, unless they're playing a joke on a friend, you don't unscrew the lid of the salt shaker, right? There's little bee holes and you just scatter it about till you get how much flavor you want. Even a heavy salter, it is still so little in comparison to the whole bin, the whole bowl. So underneath, we got this coming in, the eight of wands. Look at this. Look at this coming along. You are loved and cared for. This is life saying, I both shelter you, I provide for you, and I protect you. Okay, this power of life that we were talking about, this divine communion connection coming in, this life force coming in alongside your Jupiter, coming in for you strong and long, it is a commitment. It is a connection. That is the opening, the merging here, right? It's a communion of your soul. They say, we have got your back, providing and protecting for you. So they're saying, they're talking about stepping out and taking some risk. And it's more risks of the heart because knowing that you were loved and you were covered, Often as men, no matter how much society's tried to edit, edit manliness, they haven't edited, you know, man up, step up, own up, 
you know, that type of thing is stepping forward and having to, you know, be born walking, you know, like little giraffes, they spit out the mama and then in a few minutes, those big old legs are wobbling around or a horse or a cow or whatever, right? Even a fox, you know, they're able to move around, but we aren't, you know, so spirit's saying, I'm going to give you a little bit of time. This is some grace coming in for you, for your developmental phase. All right. Go easy on yourself, my friend. So let's get a last little roll on this and see what we have got going on. You really want to talk from these guys, the Bianco Nero. Let's see what you have for our friend. Mm -hmm. I hope that's got you turned on, stoked up, got your Neptunian, you know, salsa flying up on your head, got you all up in the clouds here thinking and think and remember beyond those words, that cosmic thinking, that churning and that turning in the mind, the clarity coming in, the light penetrating, the dark awakening, your stars. Okay. Look at this King of Wands. Mm-hmm. Yep, you are on your throne, all relaxed and ready to go in your natural state. This is your gentlemanliness. Remember what we were talking about? It's not uber refined. Here, you've even tamed the lion because the lion isn't the king of the beast, the king of the forest. You are the king of your castle. You are the diviner of yourself, all right? You are the ultimate power and authority. That's what your rod and staff indicate here. And if you can see, it is budding and alive. It is electric and charged, and it has the trinity coming off of it three times exponential power of being able to renew yourself and regenerate yourself and become whole in this okay you already are but it's it's your mind staying connected it's your mind grasping it the gift of knowledge come on in with this as well okay that's someone with the 1221 gate is doing if that sounds like foreign stuff there's the day that Saturn, okay, methods, systems, things, enters Aquarius. And we're also shifting into plasma, which is a big wave of love coming, some big old blast coming in for 200 years here. Mm -hmm. That's a bit of what you're talking about here is that completion coming on around, that connecting with yourself. Because just like the lizard, or in this case, it's much more of a salamander. Okay, so lizards can regenerate their tail, right? Salamanders can regenerate other parts. Very starfish energy, all right? So what I love is your Neptune. Neptune is plasma. Its energy for you is more like the, the uh, air, water, and fire, bringing in the synergy of that, awakening your passion, stirring that, that liquidous goo from inside. Because I think of plasma like a water that doesn't get you wet. Imagine if you could go swimming in a pool like you're at work, you got a 15-minute break, you're like, I'm going to just dive off, do some nesty plunge, and float and move around in this clothes and all, because you come on up and you're exactly perfect, just like you went in. But you get to have that whole experience of the floating and the fluidity and the moving about. Imagine allowing your mind that permission. No more of this. No more of these preconceived notions, this stigma, this just, just ignorance and stupidity. And I don't mean on your part, on just the whole, just the old ways, just the old stuff, the stuff that anybody else's stuff too. Okay. That's when it becomes a problem. You're supposed to know yourself. That is your assignment here in this world. Know yourself. And watch the story begin to unfurl like the center of a cinnamon bun. That is the best part in my book with or without the glaze, right? And you're going to make some hay here. That's what I know. You're going to make some hay. Is there anything else that you'd like me to bring out for you? So you want me to get you a cloud to go since we were talking about Neptune? Okay, this is Maxwell Parish. Uh, he had the most widely sold print of the 20th century. So interesting, we have the Queen of Hearts and the Ace of Hearts. You're talking about love and action and the fulfillment of oneself, of your true dreams, of your whole self. And the thing is, what's filling that cup is that plasma. It is this Neptunian power. It is knowing yourself. It is your passion and your, your awakening. And it doesn't mean like enlightened, you know, really, we are light, okay? When you do what delights you, you become enlightened, right? You become ripe and ready like this field. Juicy and delicious. So I see you want to cook some stuff up. 
and especially wanting to step outside and cook up some life, cook up some dreams. For many of you, it is getting outside and getting way into more rough, rugged environment because it keeps showing a um, congestion of trees. For those of you who are wondering and is drawing you out into it, follow that instinct, follow that pulse, follow that urge. It may be primitive ca camping, some day hiking. It may even just be driving through with your tunes, blasting, going where the light is trickling through the trees. But there definitely is some of that going in. And it provides these concepts and these notions coming to you again wordless remember it's wordless it's this understanding and this clarity of knowing yourself of connecting to yourself like a divine battery right that battery's got to be hooked up and jumped off to go so um and that gets you dressed and ready it gets you ready for life and it restores that excitement remember where we talked about the thing that wakes you up in the morning that's why i call it life we could call it heaven but i call it life it's that pure perfect will the divine the delight moving through us and you're beginning to formulate that field of dreams why your spirit got red boots on in a red bag you ready to go that's your hilarious you set and ready to go all right men you're fun i've loved this time with you sitting around having our chat I hope this helps you guys out. Leave me some comments or compliments down below. Keep encouraging this to keep it coming because I'm telling you, I'm feeling a bit like a windshield that the bugs will be coming for me because how dare I talk to the men, but whatever. You know, that's neither here nor there. I love you guys. I believe in you. Give it a thumbs up. Titillate those little buttons down below and cause YouTube to send this out and share it with other people. Okay, friend? Check back again real soon. Check out any of the signs of the Zodiac. Also, the Jupiter venus and chiron astro charts astro hyphen charts.com to find out where those placements are for you i love you i believe in you shine bright my friend bye